30 minutes trading strategy part three. So far, I have done two parts, part one and part two, and I have shown you the best strategy that can give you accurate outcome. Most so if you're a beginner or you're that person who have not been making money, this strategy is for you. So if you've been watching from part one, part two, comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts on part one. Tell me what your thoughts on part two. Now we are doing part three. And if I see many people that have done part one, part two, now I can give you another strategy. You know, I, to, I take time to make this video. I need to know that people are learning, getting enough knowledge of, uh, from them so that I can be motivated to create more. Anyway, this one is mind blowing. What? When I was back testing this, uh, this trade because I missed it. It happened last year in December. In December, that's when I was low in trading, but I wish I came across GBP JPY. So GBP JPY last year, the market was just dropping. It was on a, on a downtrend. You can see if you open your four hour uh, December, uh, last year, 2023, the market was on a downtrend. And then all of a sudden, the market comes and breaks this area. So the question I want you to, uh, I want to ask you guys, how do you know that the market is doing a retracement? How do you know the market is doing a retracement or is reversing? How can you tell this market is on a retracement or reversal? Can you tell that the market that I'm trying to trade, this is a retracement or reversal. I want you to comment down below. Can you tell that in this case, what do we call this? Is this a reversal or a retracement? And how will you know? So how you know, but I would want to know your comments on that. How you know? So if you open the chart like this, you would want to know the trend the market is doing. So for our, you may not know exactly what the market is doing, but if I go on a higher time frame, this is a retracement. It can't be a reversal because this market has been selling for so many days. So the market has been selling for so many days, but we have only two days of buying. So how can you call this reversal? Reversal is when buyers overpower sellers. So in this case, if we even we can count, how many candles are there printed selling? There are so many, more than 10. But how many candles are there for buying? So these two candles can be is used is being used as a retracement. So that's why you need to understand first, even before you do anything. You need to understand the chart that I'm analyzing. Am I analyzing a retracement or am I analyzing a, a pattern? Because if you're analyzing a retracement, if this is a retracement, of course you want the market to continue going down. That is the difference. Retracement, we want the market to do what? To go down. That is how retracement works. If you're doing a reversal, this now, if it is a reversal, the market will go down, hit a zone, and then continue to go up. So you need to understand any chart that you have. Those are two questions you ask yourself every day. But now I have shown you that this market is not a reversal. This is a retracement. The question is, I want to sell. But the market seems so in line in buying. Like if I want to sell, it will be so bad on me to sell here when the market is bullish. It will be so bad to sell when the, the market has, has been bullish. And you see, anytime you want to sell, you have to get a reason to sell. For me, what I tell people, the first and easiest thing if I want to sell, just look for a double top. That is the easiest. I don't need to teach you the hard way. Just look for double top. Those people who use moving average, I put here to show the different people who use moving average. There are people who will use moving average. If they were using 20, they started to sell. They were taken on a drawdown of, of how many pips? 151. Those who use 50, 50 MA as an area of retracement, you are being now shown that now you can sell. But I always tell people, if the market has hit moving average, comment down below those who use moving average. How do you know now? Yes, it has attempted, it has touched, because here it touched. If I sell immediately, the market still continued. Even here it has touched. Touching doesn't mean the market will not go to 200. So I want you guys to comment down below. How do you do it? How do you do it? You know, I get this question of, 
moving average a lot and I have decided to show people moving average is, is just a waste of, wastage of time. Sorry for those people who use, but if you use, you make money. No offense. Don't take offense in my in what I'm saying. Just you do you use it. But what if you have never used it? Don't attempt to use it. Use the double top instead. So remember this strategy we are doing is 30 minutes. So I go to three hours. I want to see what can make me to sell. What can make me to sell? So when I go to, when I'm on four hour, if I start analyzing from four hour a double top, this is what I get. The market should come this area for me to get activated so that I can start selling. And this is the wrong way to do because if you wait for the market to come to, to the four hour time frame and hit that double, double top, it is too easy. The market makers cannot make everything too easy. So the first zone, majority of people will think, they will think the market will come here. If I go to two hours, it's the same area. If I go to one hour, it's the same area. But see, notice, pay attention. When I go to 30 minutes, what happens? If I go to 30 minutes, is it the same area? Let's turn the market. Can you see, I have some resistance here that are nowhere on other time frame. So here I have green, red, here I have green, I have green. And these candles are too small. They are like crosses. These are crosses. Like this particular one, I don't know if you can see it, but I will zoom it for you. These are so small candles. Let me zoom it for you. Can you see? This is a, a green cross. Can you see? So these are just crosses that are so small, but you can see this area is an area of interest. Why is it that the same area, if I go to higher time frame, I can't see that resistance. If I go to higher time frame, there is no resistance. Can you see? Two hours. If I go to four hours, nothing, nothing. And that's what will help you to trade using four hour stroke. Three, uh, 30 minutes. So let me go back to my four hour, uh, to my 30 minutes and see what happened. So I'm on 30 minutes and I have understood that I have an area of interest. So I will mark my double top. I told you if you ever want to sell, the easiest pattern to sell with is double top. So I will mark this zone, the whole of this zone to see what is happening. And you can see that there is activation. There is activation. So the market has activated. In fact, what got activated, what make the market activate is this cross. But we can have even another area if in case they don't hold, that cross don't hold. So that is the two areas the market can activate. And already we have activated. So imagine having such an upper hand using that minute. How will you ever see this candle across on four? You can never see it. So we have that. Now let's start marking our area. So the first area we are marking is the neckline, guys. We are marking what? Our neckline. If you have noticed on the part one and part two, I was doing double bottom. Now this part three, I want to change things differently and use double top so that you can have the feel. These are not the videos to watch once and you're done. These are videos to keep repeating every single day. Because if you master this, let me tell you, Aish, your life, your trading life will be a different one. So I have marked everything. Uh, let me first remove the upper one. If it breaks, I will, I will still monitor it, which is the strategy for double top on lower time frame. We use PSB, current support break. So, the current support that we have at this moment is here. Red followed by green creates a support. If the market happens to create for us a new support, we'll be more than glad to enter. So you wait. Remember here, you're not waiting for four hours. You're waiting for 30 minutes. So a red candle comes in. You're still waiting for support to, to be made. A red candle, another red candle comes in. You're still waiting for support to be made. And then notice, how they are printing their small candles. And then the market prints for you a green candle. What happens here? 
in this case, support has been created. So I will remove my support there and put it around here. So this is my new CSB. Because CSB means current. What is the most current support that you have in your chart? So I'll be eyeing. And remember, I've just analyzed. In, an, in one hour, I have gotten support. That's in another 30 minutes. This is not the trade. You analyze and you come back after four hours. No, you are there glued in the chart. And then after 30 minutes, the support is broke. Tell me why you will not try this strategy, a strategy that is promising you how many pips? 222 pips. Comment down below and tell me how many pips you have ever made in one trade. Have you ever made 100 pips in one trade? Have you ever made 200 in one trade? Comment down below. If the only pips you have made is 10 pips, comment. You know, when you comment, you will be able to challenge yourself and you'll be able to find these trades and hold. Now, let me tell you, once we hold it there, uh, this is backtesting. Remember, I never saw this trade happening. It's just applying to my strategy and doing it accurately. So the market sold, the market sold, we can see, I will come back to check the retracement level and how long it took. So the two things we check, how did it retrace and how long did it take? You can see the approaching half and the half was activated. So that is 222 pips, 222. Like why I do this video, I want to encourage you that it is possible to make such money. So how was the retracement? We start there. Imagine if I was on this trade and I, I check my retracement. Yes, I entered here. How much was my retracement? Let me check. How was my retracement? I've entered here. 37 pips. Even if you're risking with the one lot, $370, that is your risk. Uh, if it goes, uh, if you have put stop loss, but you'll be earning $2,220. So the risk was not much. You can see 37 pips. The question is how long did it take? So you we entered on Monday and the market went Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Oh my goodness, three days and you get 222 pips. This trade took three days. Now we have said if neckline, uh, if you want to target to the neckline, half has to be broken. So you come and monitor. Will they break half? You can see how they broke half with a big momentum candle. And again, you come and target the neckline. 247 pips. As you're entering this trade, you're asking yourself, is it even normal? Is it even real? You want to say I will make 227 and had already made 200 pips. In the same week, guys, in the same week. So let's see how long it took for this market. How was the retracement? Can you see, guys, was there a retracement? We will check with you. Uh, the retracement was how many pips? 26 pips. The gain was 247. How long did it take? We entered on Wednesday and the market hit on Thursday. One day, 247 pips. So if you have 247, 247, and then you add 222, how much do you think you made in that week? Before even, uh, before, before Friday. These are trades that you do and it just motivates you. So 222 is 469. The, the pips there is 469 pips. Imagine if we had done one standard lot. It is $10 per pip. So you will be earning 4,609. And then we add zero. If you times this, if you're in Kenya, let me do it mathematic with Kenyan people, 140, that's 146. So 469 times 146. 469 times 146. In one week, you would have made 
and 84k. Imagine, imagine guys. And note, if neckline does not break, because now we have a double top. Can you see that double top? If neckline does not break, you can see the market will go back, always go back. So strategy, you have to test it step by step. There is no way you can sell if neckline is not broken. If they broke this neckline, the market would have continued. But if they don't want the sell to continue, what they do, they don't break the neckline. So the neckline is there to guide you if you will continue. So if at all the neckline was broken, you can understand that we would have measured this. And I think that's why they didn't break because it would have been a crazy sell. So majority of people now, they were enticed with that sell and it was too late. It was too late for them. So this is why I tell people, if you think $400 is much to pay for my course, surely in a week using my strategy, you would have made 680,000. Using my knowledge, the knowledge God has given me, and you think 60,000 Kenya shillings is much. Yet, if you apply the same knowledge, you fund your account, even if you put 0 0.1, the mini lot, you, have, you would have made $469. That is almost 68K and you're trading it once. And again, you trade, you're not trading it once. You can apply this strategy on many other pairs. So this is to encourage you guys that if you really don't have money for my course, that's why I am here teaching you this. Because I know if you can apply exactly thing I am telling you, you can make money. Anyone who stayed on four hour, and this is what I used to do when I was a beginner in my first two years of Forex trading. If this is my fifth year, 2024 is my fifth year. In my first two years, how could I tell that the market, this is was the end of retracement? How can you tell with just your eyes on four hour? You can never tell. You can never tell guys. And even if you use a moving average, you will never be sure, you will never be accurate. That's why you cannot hold. The thing is, our take our strategies help us to hold because you need to understand five things I teach my students. I teach them when to buy. If you come to my class, you have to know when to buy. So if this is a confusion that you have been getting, that's the indication that you need to attend my class, either to buy my course or to attend physical class. And even if you're not in Kenya, this is a sacrifice you can make. Imagine being told that you can go to this country, learn a skill, go back to your country and start making money. Why would you not plan that trip? Why would you not take that chance in your heart? So when to buy, I tell people, you practice when to buy using double bottom. That is the first pattern you practice and cup and handle. Cup and handle, that is standing one. Then I teach my student when to sell. If I want to sell, I need to understand selling, I need to find a double top. So if I want to sell, I will find a double top. And do you think the double top, it will be, it will be easily found? No, it will be hidden. And that's why we went on that minute to look for that double top. When to buy, when to sell. The other thing, when to hold. How can you hold if you don't have confidence with your trade? We hold when you have confidence. If for me, I find OPT, because this was OPT, it was not in any time frame. That double top, even if you went to two hours, one hour, it was not there. That market, made they made sure it is never in any time frame apart from 30 minutes. And that's when you know that that is high probability trade. I will hold it to TP1. I will hold it to TP2 if half is broken. Then when to exit? You exit if at all the market has given you so much money. Let's say you are trading 200, you wanted 200 pips. It has given you 100 pips and you have never even gotten 50 pips. Exit the trade. When to avoid? We avoid the trade if we don't understand. Those are some of the things I teach my students. So this is to show you the importance of a mentorship. If this is what I am giving you for free, there are so many things the Holy Spirit has revealed to me. And... I will be questioned. Imagine four years ago, I was in a place, in a dark place. I was a stay home mom. I was broke. I was, I didn't have money. I was broke and everything. And, and right now I can trade and make millions in a month. Meaning 
those people who put these YouTube videos uh, on YouTube, those Forex videos on YouTube, they were used by God because there is a basic knowledge, resistance, support, uh, those things, candles, those information you can't learn by osmosis, you will be taught on YouTube. But there is a way, once you now get the information, God starts to mold you. God starts to give you ideas. He starts to open your eyes. You start seeing things that many people are not seeing. Anyway, I don't want to talk so much. If you want my class, I will link my number in the comment section. There is two options. Physical class, come to Kenya. If you're not in Kenya, the class is starting on March 11. If you want to attend April class, there will be always a class every month. If you want online course, it's recorded. 12 modules, five videos per, mo per each module. So in total is 60 videos. WhatsApp me and say, I want the course and I'll give you the details on the payment. All the best guys and I love you so much. Bye-bye.